Hi everyone and welcome to day three of the Clarity and Confidence Workshop. As I wait for everybody to hop on, I just want to say thank you for being here. I'll give everybody a few minutes, make sure we are live. Let me just check that we are live. Okay, let's make sure that we're here and you guys can see me and hear me. Yes, awesome, so exciting. So I am super excited about today and I'll tell you why, because at the end I have a little surprise for you guys. I have a super bonus that I'm gonna um, invite you in to take advantage of. So make sure you stay till the end or if you're watching on the replay, please watch till the end. Also, we're moving into now the real meat and potatoes of launching that coaching, consulting, or online education business. Now, guys, this is a segment of what I consult on, right? This is just a segment of what I do. And so many people always ask me about this. They're like, Maria, how do you, how did you bring your business online? Maria, how did you create this consulting business that's online? I see you posting all the time. I see you doing all this cool stuff. How did you learn this? How do you do it? How do you do it? So for my salon owners and service-based professionals, I decided to carve out a program and I created a very honed in four week kickstart program to teach you just this. And the clarity and confidence is the beginning of it. It is the, the, the core foundation of the things that really makes you think about, right? Let me know, like as you're hopping on, thinking about all these things, again, make sure you have your workbook, right? And today we're going to be on day three, niche and fine tuning. So what I'm talking about must be stirring some emotion. What we're talking about here and the things I'm covering is giving you ideas. It's motivating you. It's really making you think twice. Now, if you're watching this and you never thought about creating another branch of business, maybe it's giving you inspiration to do so. I want to just share something really quick. And there are a few things that I just felt were really important to share. One. People throw around numbers on the online world, six, seven figures, I'm a millionaire, billionaire, like, like it's going out of style. Guys, do not beat yourself up. You are doing the best you can with what, what you knew how at this moment. And don't believe a lot of that stuff. A lot of the social media stuff is BS. I call BS on a lot of people because even if someone makes a million dollars and they hit six, seven figures, they're not telling you that they just spent 600,000 of it on Facebook ads and after paying everyone, they had no profit. So I'm not bashing it, but I just want you to stay grounded and stay in the realization that not everyone's really doing as well as you think and that you have the capability to become anything you want. So stay focused on your shit. Don't get sidetracked by all the shiny objects online because there's a lot of people making a whole lot of promises and a whole lot of BS, okay? The second thing I wanted to tell, talk to you really briefly about was that the journey, honor yourself in the journey of where you're going. So like I said, if you already have been thinking about creating a coaching, consulting, or online education business, maybe it crossed your mind during COVID. So the shutdowns, especially for our service-based business owners, which is who I'm speaking to, the salon owners, the spa owners, the accountants, anyone who's in a service-based business, holistic practitioners, whoever's watching this, right? Our photographers, anyone that offers a service, your business got smashed for three months, right? So I'm not going down that negative road, but if we learn nothing else, I think we learned that we need a plan B, and that's what this is, plan B to our business flourishing because the world is evolving and being online is a new way of doing business and it is a supplement. It doesn't mean you have to get away from what you were doing. Hi everyone, I see you guys all coming on. So nice to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love every single one of you and thank you for being here and taking the time to watch either live or on the replay. Okay, so as you guys are all hopping on, I want you to give me a hashtag live, hashtag replay introduce yourself, say hello, give me some love, give me some hearts, and just let me know you're here and that I, you can hear me and you can see me. Okay, I'm just making sure, yes, everyone can see me, hear me. Excuse me. 
<laughs> Excuse me. So it's true. Okay. So here we go, guys. Um, I want you to get your workbook out and we're going to go now to day three. Day three of the niche fine tuning. Now, a lot of people say, um, if you're in the online space a while and you've already listened to a lot of coaching people, which I don't consider myself a coach at all. I am a consultant because I give you tried and true strategies and I lead you step by step to getting a distinct end result. Um, that's exactly what I do for you. So I, a lot of people in the co coaching world talk about niche and it's an overused word. So if you're new to it or you're not, let me just give you my take on what a niche is. A niche is the market that you're speaking to, okay? Here's a perfect example. I will give you an example of one of my clients, okay? She is a health coach for women in menopause who are trying to get rid of their middle, that muffin top that pops out that menopause may cause. Very specific. She doesn't work with women who are pregnant. She's not working with women that are like single and they have problems with their period. She's working with women who are struggling with the menopausal muffin top and she is focused on that. Her business is exploding. Actually, we're gonna be talking to her Penny later on this week. She's gonna be hopping on live to share her experience with working with me. Then another one of my clients, she's an ADHD coach, ADHD coach, but for 17 to 24 year olds and their parents who are struggling with college. Do you see how it's super fine tuned? Um, maybe you have a salon, okay? Like one of my salons locally, they are an organic salon and they cater to people who want vegan, cruelty-free products and who are over the age of 45. They, they focus on mature clients. They're not doing balayage. They're not doing trendy stuff. They're strictly, they're not doing vivids. Do you guys understand that? So it's about who you're talking to. That's your niche. And it could be broad. Like I'll give you as an example, I work with salon owners and service based business owners. So it encompasses quite a large group of people, but they're very specific as to what their needs are. I help them increase their profits and the happiness in their life, right? Because we're reducing their stress. So it's very crystal clear. Hi everyone, as you're coming on, give me a hashtag live, hashtag replay. Close the door, please, as my daughter walks by. This is what you get when you're live at home. Okay, so awesome to see all you guys here. So that's what the niche is, getting clear on your niche in your market is vital. Now, why is it vital? Because I see too many people that bring their practice online that they wanna help everyone. They're like, well, I'm a life coach and a business coach and, and I can help you, you know, organize your closet. It's overwhelming and confusing. So the best way to really get your thoughts and organize them is what is that end result, right? So let's talk about this. I want you to be, let's read, getting clear on your niche market is vital, but you totally have to be clear on the custom who the perfect match is for the work that you do and who you create your products for. So if you're not really sure what that person looks like, what they do, how they live their life, what their age bracket is, what their lifestyle is like, you cannot create powerful messaging and marketing to speak to those people. Does that make sense, guys? Give me hashtag lot, give me some hearts. Let me know that you're listening and let me know that this makes sense to you, right? So we're on page day three of niche and the niche fine tuning, right? This is super important because when they're not clear on who you're talking to, it becomes very confusing to create really profound messaging, okay? So it's almost like you have to remember, would you go to the dentist to have heart surgery? No. Why? The dentist is not messaging, putting messaging and, and verbiage out there telling you come get your heart fixed. The dentist is like, I offer teeth whitening, I do root canals. Maybe he doesn't even do root canals. Nowadays, ten, dentists are so specialized, which is what I really want you to do in who they're talking to that you have one guy that cleans your teeth, you got another guy that friggin' does the root canals, you got another guy that pulls wisdom teeth. You guys following me? So be very, very specific no fluff, no confusion, and not adding too much jargon in who your niche market is. So really drum it down. I want you to drill it down, drill it down. So what does this person look like? Do you have an idea? Number one here, how old are they? Like, are you 
focusing on mature women? Are you helping divorced men? Are you helping new salon owners? Are you helping, you know, new dentists? Like, who is it that you're helping? What is their age bracket? Because that makes a huge difference in where you're going to market that. And that's a class for a whole nother time. Because the same person who is in one age group is not going to be hanging out on the same social media platforms or digesting and absorbing the same marketing when you create your messaging, okay? So that those are all things for another time, but I just want to give you an idea. Okay, what do these people like to do in their spare time? So you need to kind of know what's their age, what are they doing in their spare time, what does their life look like, do they like to do business? How do they like to do business if they're in business? What are their fears? What are their aspirations? Now, by knowing all of these things, you can target, we're going to get to that now, you can target the results that you're offering for them. So I know Anne is on here. Anne is an expert haircutting champion, right? Now, Anne, if she wanted to launch a consulting or coaching or online education business, she could easily do that for a certain age group of hair professionals who want to sharpen their hair cutting skills, who want to make more money hair cutting. Maybe they don't want to even do color anymore. Do you see how that's so easy to really drill down to who exactly you're talking to? Or maybe the target market somewhere else. It's, it's, it's new people, newer stylists who are just getting out of beauty school and they don't know, they really have no idea how to do a great haircut. So you may be marketing to that crowd. But again, it really is what you want to do and who your target market is. You really have to take some time and do this exercise. Write these things down. So as I wrote here a little bit, I wrote the most successful business people know everything about their customers who are a perfect match for them. They can picture this person in front of them and like an actor exploring the background of the character they are about to play. So the truth is this, if you're selling to everyone, you're selling to no one. Write that down again, guys. I learned this in one of my first classes when I went online and it was Marie Forleo. And the truth of the matter is when you're speaking to everyone and it's very broad, see, psychologically, you want to talk to everyone because you think, well, I'll make more money. More people will buy from me, but that's not how it works. The more laser focused you are on the client you're speaking to, the easier it is to close that sale. I want you to think about all the big brands, Nike, Athleta, um, Coca-Cola, everything every single person does, Target, it's very specific to who the heck they're selling to, right? And their brand attracts an age group, it attracts a genre, it attracts people of a certain um, income. Every single type of marketing then and messaging is geared towards that person. So think of yourself too. I want you to be honest when you're filling this out. What do these things look like for you? Hey guys, I see you all coming on. Hey Laura, hey Gina, hey Frank, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. So let's move on to the next page. Let's see here. So again, we just have more questions. I want you to write down, are your clients male, female, both? It doesn't matter. I mean, the more you really do these exercises, the more it's going to help you fine tune who that target market is going to be to buy your products, services, online courses, whatever it is that you are co-creating to launch your, your new business, right? What's their educational background, right? This will give you help you give you a vibe on how you're speaking to them. What are you speaking of? What relates to them, right? Where do they live? Or do you have a local business? Are you growing a local business? Are you bringing your business totally online, another branch, and it doesn't matter where they live, but you want to target maybe say United States and Australia because they speak English and you know you can speak to them in any other place. Let's just say examples. Um, what's their business or job? Now, if you're creating a coaching, consulting, or online education business for other businesses, right? It's a B2B. What, what does that business need? Like, what is the gap you're filling? And now if you go back on our homework that we did day one and day two, you should have the answers for these. So, so you see how every day the, the workbook then just adds to the next thing. There is in layers. So you can't get one answer without doing the work from day one and day two. So if you haven't done that, go back and do that. And then let me know if that, how, how that makes sense, because you really have to deep dive and do those exercises to get clarity on what you're bringing to the table, what you think you want to create your consulting business about. 
to really make sure that it's crystal clear on who you're talking to then. Because sometimes people start doing these exercises and they think they want to do one thing. And then as they start exploring and and really diving into what they're feeling and what and and what they're offering, they're like, you know, Maria, I thought I wanted to do A, but now I'm really clearly saying that B is my direction and it's so much easier and it comes really easy to me. All right. So next is what's their passion? What's your ideal client's passion, right? Do you know what do the what drives these people? What are the things that they want? The results, the changes, the passion in their life. You know, do they want more free time? Do they want more money? Do they want more family time? Do they want more freedom? Like it could be so many different things. Do they want to save 50,000 horses and buy a ranch? Like what is their passion? Because that's also important because in your language, when you create, which we're going to work on, on that, it's going to be day four and day five, your elevator pitch and your messaging, it's going to be super important. And you can't do all these things unless you have these foundational targets down, right? So make sure you take the time to fill this out. Hi, everyone. I see you guys. Give me some hearts. Let me know that you're here. And does this make sense? Am I making sense to you what I'm saying? Okay, good. I'm glad I'm making sense. All right. This is super important now, too. If you're selling a service, you want to know how does that your ideal client feel right now? Are they frustrated? Are they overwhelmed? Are they thrilled with fear? Are they tired? Are they broke? Like you need to know how are they feeling right now and what is your product, service, educating, consulting, coaching? What are you going to bring to them to resolve this feeling? What is it, what is it that you're bringing to them that's going to help them, that's going to solve this problem, the problem that's keeping them up at night? Because if you come to market with something that nobody wants or no one, you don't, you're not crystal clear that it's going to help people, no one's going to buy it. So it's really important to walk through these exercises. Okay. This is a great one too. How will they feel after working with you? Now, if this is new to you and you're just in the clarity phases, you're not even ready to, you, you have no idea what you're going to do, what kind of online business you're going to create, what kind of consulting, coaching, or online practice you're going to launch. You have to imagine though, and really feel into it. How are these people going to feel the ideal client you have just created based on your gifts, based on your magic, based on your skills, experience, everything you're bringing to the table, education, how are they going to feel after they work with you? Are they going to feel fulfilled? Are they going to feel satisfied? Are they going to feel relieved? Are they going to feel empowered? Are they going to feel more in control? Again, you want to make sure you know how people are going to feel. I can tell you honestly, every time anyone I've asked that has worked with me, and if you even look on my website, I'll drop the link testimonials. People always feel confident, clear, empowered. They know exactly what they're going to do next. They feel in control, right? So that's super important because a lot of you have to know those feelings that your ideal client's going to have. Okay. If you're working with corporate people and you're going to be selling corporate coaching or consulting or online education to corporations, you need to know where are they on the corporate ladder? What's their income? Because here's another thing, guys, you can't create a product that people can't afford to buy. Like, let's be honest. So you, this is something we work deeper when you work with me in my three, four month program, but you have to really be realistic. Are the people that you just created this ideal client able to afford the services that you want to bring to market. Now, I know a lot of us want to help. I know a lot of you want to save the world. But the truth of the matter is, if you're starting a business, then it's not a charity. You can donate your time and do things for charity. I do that too. I give tons of value. I help. I support. But a business is a business, and that's how you're making money. So you have to be able to really differentiate what your business goals are going to be and making sure that the clients you're talking to can afford the services you're putting in front of them, right? Because then otherwise you won't have a business. Okay, what keeps them awake at night and what are their dreams? Because once again, you have to fill that gap. So if you're a marriage coach, you, you wanna start uh, being a marriage coach, I had one client work with me. You know that what's keeping them up at night is that their marriage is falling apart. If you have a child who has ADHD, 
you know that they're, what's keeping them up at night is that they can't get their kid to register for college. They're struggling. Maybe they're fighting. I'm thinking of all the clients I've worked with and the, and the, the, the resolve that they brought to these people, the, the, the help. It, they help people not be awake at night anymore. If you're someone that helps someone lose weight, maybe they're staying up at night because they're getting married in a few weeks and their friggin' wedding dress is still too tight, right? Think of all these things regardless of what you are you know maybe you're helping women with their confidence i know jackie she's an ex-salon owner and she's amazing um at what she does she's helping women step into their power and show up with confidence so what's keeping them up at night that maybe they can't go for that interview to get that job maybe they don't know how to show up and have that conversation to get a raise like you guys get the idea of how important it is to make sure you know who your ideal client is and that is what the niche is so does anyone have any questions Oh, good. I'm making sense. I'm glad. That's awesome. Gina. Okay. What did Gina ask? I see. Okay. Coming in. Okay. So your niche is one thing and your messaging is another. Let me just explain to this. If this, again, I'll just go over it again. So a niche is the market you're talking to, the people you're talking to, right? That's the niche. Your message is the verbiage, the wording you use to convey what you do, how you help, who you serve, and we're going to be working on all of that day four. I'm not going to jump ahead, but you'll see we're going to be working on creating your elevator pitch, which is my name so-and-so, I help so-and-so do what, and really... I've done this exercise, guys. I am not going to lie to you. I started online in 2008. I think I launched my consulting business in 2010, something like that. I have changed my elevator pitch at least 50 times. Now, you know why? And I'm being full disclosure here. Because we grow, we evolve. <coughs> Excuse me. We work with clients we realize what we like, what we don't like. We start to see results. We start to see things that don't feel right. We start to really own our power. So it's okay if you start in one place and then as you grow, you can switch it. I have so many clients that went from doing one thing to doing something totally different because as they started doing it, they're like, you know what, Maria, this really resonates with me so much more. Someone else, you know, I love that when I started, but I'm feeling now I really want to drill it down even more right because the more drilled down you are guys you have to believe me the more money you will make the more drilled down you are in your niche the more results you get for your clients thinking you're going to help everyone is not the way to go again i know i have a few photographers in here there's some photographers who are ex who are their niche is newborn babies some photographers their niche is Headshots. Some photographers, their niches, they're amazing at capturing outdoor, you know, spontaneous type of pictures. Um, some others are doing cake smashes. Now, I'm just using that as an example because I know there's like three or four photographers that registered for this class. So think about it. You're not leaving people out. You're actually opening a window of opportunity to show up as the heart surgeon. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, but I have a little surprise for you right now for everybody that's here. I want you guys to, yes, Lord, let's see my clients, would it matter what their dreams are? Well, yeah, it does matter because when you're talking to what their dreams are, like they may have a dream that they want to capture all their family moments. You know, they, they want to make sure that they have a lookbook for their life, for their children, to leave a legacy. So you really have to, step out of your own body and step into the body and mind of what people are feeling because the truth of the matter is guys and for those of you so many of you have been following me for so long you have worked with me you know how i show up the integrity and showing up in your truth and really giving a shit about your clients is gonna set you apart period integrity being real showing up real really caring about what they feel and speaking to them in a way that resonates with them, that's what's going to set you apart. And I want you to always remember yourself, don't ever forget what it feels like to be the client, right? It's super, super important. So guys, here's my exciting announcement for today. Now, I am opening the cart today to my four-week business transformation program. Okay, now what is that? That is you get to work with me for four weeks, we kick off, I think it's July 8th, 
four weeks in a row, okay? Actually, one of those weeks I'll be in Italy, so you get to do a live with me in Italy while we're on the group program. It is a group coaching and consulting program. What does that mean? Everyone comes in, we have small pods, depending on how many people register. I have small pods. We meet live once a week and we work on your business together. We work on co-creating everything that you need to launch the beginning parts to kickstart, okay? To kickstart your coaching, consulting, or online education business. Now, what I'm offering to you guys today, this is the first bonus and it expires tomorrow at noon. Okay, so everyone who registers today, I'm going to drop the link to register below this video, and I'm going to drop the bonuses that you get. So today I'm giving you guys, if you register, the program is only $19.97, which is insane. I never have programs this low, ever, but I wanted to really give back to the community, and I wanted to invite everyone else to be, and make it affordable so everyone could take part in this, okay? So $19.97 to work with me for four weeks you get four weeks in group coaching with me. And then as a bonus today, if you register today, the first 10 people who register are going to get a 90 minute one on one intensive session with me. So that means that we either meet on zoom together. If you live local, we can meet at my local office or we do it by phone. Everyone, you just choose what you want. I'm so excited to see all you guys here. Um, that is worth $2,500. So you get, that is a free bonus if you register today before noon tomorrow, okay? And you also get a $2,500 social media audit. What does that mean? It means that you give me all your social media, your website, your, your links, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google, whatever it is you're using right now, I audit it, I create a whole audit for you. I tell you where you can improve, where it's good, what things you can change, and that's a $2,500 value. So if you register in the next 24 hours before noon tomorrow, you get all these bonuses too. You get $5,000 in bonuses on top of getting to work with me for only $19.97 for the four weeks. And again, if you have any questions, you're not sure if this is for you, you're not sure exactly what we're going to do, I'm going to drop the sales page below here. I want you guys to take a look at it, read through it, and I'm always available on DM, by phone, or via email to answer any of your questions to see if this is for you. I will tell you, I will never be offering this four-week program at this price point again. But like I said, I wanted to give back, so I really wanted to share this with you guys. So now make sure you show up for day five and six. I have some special guests. I have some other bonuses. We're going to be covering your elevator pitch, which is super important. We're going to be covering mindset. And we're going to be covering some other surprises that you just don't want to miss. So if you're on the live, give me hashtag live. If you're on the replay, hashtag replay. I hope today has empowered you, giving you some food for thought. And I hope to see you on the inside. Guys, remember, if you want that $5,000 in bonuses, you got to register, pay in full before 12 noon tomorrow when I show up for day four. Love you guys all. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Yes, thank you so much for watching. See you later, guys. Have a great day.